So in this video we're going to see if we can create some Apple highlights and uh, it's like these little reflection type deals that you're seeing on here. Uh, the first one I want to work on is this and the way we're going to do that is by taking a brush that we made earlier, our texture brush, and modifying it. So I'm going to go to my um, first 70 sized one and if we take a look at that one it's the one that doesn't have the transfer on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, see my spacing is such that it's kind of spaced out well I want to make these dots much closer together now rather than just taking this down which might end up in a brush that's a little gritty I'm going to use the scattering feature and I'm going to increase the count okay so you can see how that works how it looks slightly different because what's happening is the randomization in the shape dynamics on the angle jitter is being applied to the scatter so I have it um, scattering and I'm going to um, go ahead and try this brush out. Now I'm going to use uh, a bright white and I want to make it on its own layer so I'm going to add a new layer and we're going to call it highlight. Uh, I totally spelled that wrong but we're going to just go with it anyway. And I'm going to use white and I'm just going to make a little white dot here. And you see already it's looking pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm also going to make some dots over here and they might go outside my edge but that's okay okay and those are obviously way too light alright and maybe some there alright so let's talk first these ones here um, what I need to do here is twofold I need to make some of it blend away and I need to make some of it blur so first we'll do some of the blurring so I'm gonna go to my finger tool again just kinda make that blur out a little bit on the side there and a little bit on this side okay and then I think I need to make some erase. So I'm going to erase some. So let's see, just kind of tapping, tapping. Oop, too much. Let's undo that. Okay, something like so. All right, and then um, over here on this side, I need to erase a lot so let's just see how this is gonna work and this is my first time painting this so bear with me if it doesn't look good alright and I'm gonna definitely get the outside edge here I just wanna get a little bit of highlight going on over there in that second area there we go yeah something like that maybe make it go a little further out to the edge but I'll do that in a second. I'm going to use the blur tool again, the little finger tool to make these go up and so like like that and then I'll erase those as well just a little bit like so. Alright, how are we doing? Let's see. Um, I think I'm pretty pleased with most of that. I think I'm going to probably use a soft round brush, really soft round brush and make sure it's nice and soft. I'm going to go to transfer. Very good. And what I'm going to do is just kind of paint along the outside edge of this. So let's see. Yeah, just like that. And maybe a little bit up here on the top. Okay. And all right, let's see how that looks. Maybe a little bit right down here. All right, so you can kind of see what that's doing. It's definitely making it work a little bit more. Let's do a zoom out on both here. And kind of see what that's looking like. Yeah. I think my dots are a little too, my textures are a little too bright. I'm going to take my textures down. And my other textures down. And these textures down. Very good. Okay, um, yeah, so that's basically it um, for the highlights. Let's see if we can do shadows in the next video.